Good evening, everyone. This reading is going to be for my Virgos. Uh, this message is concerning spirit, what uh, spirit wants you to know. So these are your spiritual messages for the last week of February going into March for my Virgos. Okay, because I had did a reading earlier for my Virgos. Okay, and please understand that when you are receiving a reading, okay, that it can go either or. All right, so many of my Virgos, you are dealing with air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay, which is the swords. So, um, in some cases, you may be dealing with a three-party situation or a three-party triangle. You may be dealing with a lover who, from the past, who, you know, in the past, they were in and out, in and out, you know. Um, you also were dealing with some earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like yourself, Okay. What I can tell you with a Capricorn is if you're dealing with a positive Capricorn, then all your hard work is about to pay off, okay? Um, some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Spirit is telling you it's time to release the negativity. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio who is toxic, you may want to release that, okay? Um, some of you are dealing with an Aries. Right now, the Aries has a lot on his back. He's carrying a burden, okay? So, um, you could be dealing with an Aries that's dealing with stuff, you know, maybe with a job, or he may have lost a job, or he's dealing with a lot of home responsibilities. It could be family, kids, you know? Um, or that Aries can be dealing with multiple partners, more than one. He may have, you know, several different baby mamas. Or you may be dealing with a mother who got different baby daddies. You understand? So, um, spirit is asking you to pretty much go with the flow. You can continue thriving. Seek wisdom. You are protected. All of your conclusions are within reach. Spirit says right now your emotions are running high. Confidence is key to success. Believe in the impossible. Diligence is key. Have faith in your dreams. And if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, examine the situation and look at the bigger picture. Because something all may not be there. So you may need to look at the bigger picture and read between the lines and see whatever it is you can't see if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, like I said, when it comes to the Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you can either be dealing with somebody who is mourning the loss and separation between the past that you two shared together, okay? Or you can have an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that's spying on you because I did pick up on that, okay? You can have a, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini who's asking questions, who's uh, checking for you on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, okay? Or well, that could be an Earth sign. Um, you did have some water. Also, you had some water on your uh in your reading. Last reading I was dealing with water. So if you're dealing with a cancer, which I which I didn't really pick up on, I was picking up mostly Scorpio, okay? And a little bit of Pisces, but definitely a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, which is a water sign, that Scorpio does have several other uh, options. You did have a devil card from your last reading, which can be Capricorn or it could be somebody toxic who just, you know, suffers with several addictions, such as sex, lustful desires, alcohol, and drugs. So, um, beware of that. Um, spirit is also asking you to be mindful of the company that you keep. Okay, Virgo? So, going out of February, last week of February, first week of March, be mindful of the company that you keep. Okay, especially if you're dealing with um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and it could go either or. You know, either the Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini could be uh, in and out of your, you know, in and out of your life causing problems, or you could be the problem. You know, um, Earth sign. You could have another Virgo like yourself, or you could be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. Okay, that Capricorn is hard working and saying that, you know, that Capricorn's hard work is definitely about to pay off. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, it's telling you to kind of release that, release all negativity, because somewhere it is some uh, un you're dealing with an unbalanced, uneven situation, unevenly yoked. But I'm picking up mostly Scorpio, maybe a little bit of Pisces. 
I'm not really feeling no cancer. Okay? So, um, again, Spirit is telling you your energy is definitely gaining momentum. Okay? Uh, let me see. Sagittarius, you definitely want to look at the bigger picture with that because Sagittarius, again, can also be in and out. Sagittarius may just be using you for sex only. Okay, it could just be sexual chemistry, you know, um, no emotions, no heart, just sexual chemistry. Okay, if you're dealing with Sagittarius. Okay, um, do be mindful that the Aries has a lot on their back that they're dealing with. If you're dealing with Aries, they may have multiple partners, you know, multiple baby mamas or multiple baby daddies, okay? Um, Taurus and Virgo or Capricorn could be in and out of your life, you know? Um, like I said, be mindful of the company you keep, okay? If you're dealing with a Sagittarius or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, and you may even want to check that back on that Aries. You know what I'm saying? If they have multiple partners. Um, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Because you definitely had a lot of swords. A lot of swords was coming at you. You was feeling backstabbed. Three-party situation. Um, somebody definitely may have like a baby mama. Definitely a baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. Um, spirit is definitely looking over them. So, like I said, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, they definitely play a, a, a role dealing with Virgo. And so does Scorpio and Capricorn and Aries, you know, and Sagittarius. But like I said, just go with the flow. Continue thriving. Seek wisdom. You are protected. And diligence is key. Your hard work is paying off. Believe in the impossible. And it's definitely time to release the negativity and release and let go of your past. Okay? And be mindful of the red flags. And confidence is key to success. Okay? So this has been your reading for the last week of February, February 23rd to March 1st, 2020. Going into March 7th, 2020. All right?